Uh, but Chad asks, uh, thoughts on Atlanta's ex-coach Dan Quinn becoming the Broncos head coach. Now, I don't have any thoughts on him, what his chances are. But what I can tell you is Dan Quinn left the Atlanta Falcons with a winning record. I think there's only two or three that have done that in 50 years. So being able to to, to stay in it with the Atlanta Falcons for more than three years and have a winning record is something to be said. Dan Reeves had a 14 and two season in 1998 and left Atlanta with a losing record. Uh, it's, it's not, it's not easy. The other part of this is, Oh, an old Vic Fangio retread guy. Well, one, he's not that old. He's 51. Um, you know, that's fairly young in the landscape of things. When you look across the age of head coaches, um, two, he, is a defensive guy that didn't have any defensive players. The, the, the general manager with the Atlanta Falcons, Thomas Dimitrov ran the Falcons as if he was the agent for a quarterback on a seven on seven team. I'm going to give the quarterback as much money as I possibly can. Uh, and I'm not going to worry about offensive line because who cares? Uh, I'm not going to worry about defense because nah, we'll just outscore everybody. And we've got a defensive coach, so that'll take care of itself. Um, the other part of this is the question is, you know, do you want a young offensive mind? Dan Reeve, or sorry, Dan Quinn took some chances on young offensive coaches. Kyle Shanahan of uh, six years ago, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't, you know, 50 or how he was still pretty young at the time. Kyle Shanahan was one of those guys. Uh, I thought it was an absolutely completely and totally moronic move that just did about as much damage as 28-3 did, but he took a chance on Steve Sarkeesian. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, was willing to go with a younger guy, an offensive innovator, and do something like that, which I know that uh, is something that, that Denver Broncos fans are interested in. So if you get Dan Quinn, you can pair him with an offensive guy that he wouldn't be threatened by. Uh, he's fairly egoless. Coach Players love to play for him. Now, if you get a general manager that knows how to build a team, You've got something. Now, yeah. would he be my first choice? And am I advocating for him for to be the, the the coach of the Denver Broncos? No, he he wouldn't be. But he wasn't awful in Atlanta. He made some high profile mistakes and didn't get any backing from his general manager. But he's, I I think he's worthy of another shot. I, I do. I think he's worthy of another shot in the NFL. Yeah, um, and Dan Quinn, this is a big one for me. Dan Quinn is a player's coach as well. He doesn't just focus on the defense. I think that after Vic Fangio and all the talk of just being the lack of connection between Fangio and this coach uh, and the players. There's just not really a lot of inspiration and admiration for the coach in that regard. Um, He doesn't connect with them at all. And Dan Quinn at least would bring that. And uh, I think that's probably important coming out of this uh, Vic Fangio era is having somebody that the players like, and maybe Dan Quinn makes it that much better for you to get a chance at, uh, at somebody like Russell Wilson in the off season. So, We'll see. 